what is up guys it is your boy main mania and welcome back to another episode of mk mobile we are back in the cold war tower and we are at boss battle 60 and we're gonna try something today that just may blow up in my face that's right we are rocking with one of the worst if not the worst diamond team in the game I still feel like this team needs to get demoted back to gold, but I'm pretty sure some people appreciate having some diamonds in their collection, and um, I don't think WB will ever revert some of those diamond promotion changes that they had made. So, we gotta work with it. And what are we working with today? Ladies and gentlemen, we're gonna start off with Ronin Takeda. We're gonna give him King Jared Spear for the opportunity to snare. We're gonna give him his Shadow Sash to cause blind, some unblockable, and a little bit of tower damage. We don't plan on using him much. I just wanna see if I can start the match off with a quick snare and then get him out of there and work with the other two. Ronin Katana is going to be our backup damage dealer today. She's gonna to have crit chance. She's gonna have the dark mantle so that she has that tag in immunity. And she's gonna have some increased critical hit damage and tower damage with the bayonet. She's also gonna have a lot of health with the telegrika and stun resistance as well. Not that that should be a factor here. But last but not least, the star of the show should be who I think is the best of the Ronin team. It's Ronin Kenshi. Is he really the best? Is he better than Ronin Katana? Ah! Hey, listen. On paper, yes. But at the same time, no. And the reason why I say that is because Ronin Kenshi Special 1 does damage, but no power drain. While Ronin Katana's Special 1 has power drain. And I'm sorry, but power drain is an extremely strong Special 1. Robbing your enemies of their specials is one of the strongest things in this game. Is it top 2? Maybe not. You can argue that it's Snare. But... Power Drain is extremely, extremely strong. And Ronin Kenshi does not have that. So, um, really hard to say who is the better of the two, but I personally would give it to Ronin Kenshi. And y'all know I'm biased as all hell because I'm a hardcore Katana fan. So, coming from me, that says a lot. But on him, he's going to get some tower damage. He's going to get some unblockable and hopefully the opportunity to uh, obtain luck. And from there, he should start obliterating people. I'm working on his feats of strength. So I decided to give him a full team that can utilize that so he can get some special twos in. Where are we at with his special twos? For his special twos right now, we're at 1160. So he still has a solid 340 more to go. And he's nowhere close to being done. But we did just finish MK11 Scorpion, which you guys just saw in yesterday's episode. So, that's the name of the game, boys. He's got the tower gear, he's got the health, and he's got the damage. But will we be able to overcome Shang Tsung's healing ass and all the health that they're going to have from their equipment? Time will tell. This could blow up in my face so bad. I'm nervous. I'm nervous. I'm nervous. The Ronin team is not good. <laughs> I really hope this doesn't blow up in my face. All right, boys. Let's give it a shot. I'm still in awe. All right. We already got luck and he's already melting. We're not using a special one. We're strictly going for special twos. Once again, for my feats of strength, no. Um, he's doing good damage. I'm not as worried anymore. He's doing good damage. You know, if I'm going to be honest, Taken got me stinking worried. He said that he underestimated this battle and it ended up costing him big time. You lost to this Taken? Oh, God. That special two is devastating. Taken, you lost to this, bro? This is what she lost to, bro? Really take it? <laughs> Let me not mess with him right now. 
Let me not mess with my boy right now. We're gonna hit her with a special two. Let's give Katana some chance to shine. Oh, that's a lie. That was a hundred. You stinking liars. Woo -hoo -hoo. Oh my goodness. The dark mantle is so stinking good. Let's give you a special two because you need it. You know what? Let's let's let Takita have a little something. Guys, I was so worried. Taken! You got me worried for nothing! You got me so stinking worried for nothing! I'm so annoyed with you right now. <laughs> but it's all good, ladies and gentlemen. We got to get a gold card. Who is it gonna be? I want Combat Cassie. Give it to me. I wanna complete the family. I'll also take Pyromancer Tanya. Haven't heard of anyone getting her just yet, but um, you never know. You never know. So, cross your fingers for your boy. Son of a... At least give me a challenge character so it can cover the cost of a refresh. But no. They give me a bottom basic bitch ass gold. Anyways, ladies and gentlemen, Hopefully you guys enjoyed today's battle. Tell me what you guys think about the Ronin team. And you know what? I'm going to ask you guys all a question here. Who do you think is worse? Who do you think is worse? Let me know in the chat section. Let's have a little friendly debate. Keyword friendly. Y'all know we a dope ass community. We don't be talking junk and going back and forth and all that nonsense. Thank God this isn't my Dead by Daylight videos. <laughs> Here is the question. Friendly debate. Who is the worst diamond team? Is it the Ronin team or the Black Dragon team? Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. I'm curious what you guys think. Is it the Ronin team or is it the Black Dragon team? Gotta pick one. So. Look forward to talking to y'all in the comment section below. Y'all know the deal. Subscribe if you're new. Don't forget to show the video some love and leave a like. And I will talk to y'all in the comment section. It's your boy Main Mania. Thank you for watching. And I'm out. Peace.